Hello, hello, this is Gemini, your friendly neighborhood spy. I'm here today to be summoning for copies of Legendary Ephraim on this banner. But before we get to that, we're just going to pull on um, this one because I still have my tickets. I did use my free summon, but I have my tickets still. We're just going to pull the tickets. We're not going to spend any orbs. I think I'm going to go for Lilith, mostly just for fodder reasons, but I, you know, very low chance I'll actually get her. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But let's, let's go on. Let's proceed. Okay. Um, let's go with this one. Okay, at least there's smoke. Okay. I think I just cleared out my barracks. I think I did. So I should be pretty good. Okay, bottom left, maybe. Okay, nothing this time. Hello, Ray. Oh, is it Rye? I'm never sure on that one. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Nope. All right, one more shot. Let's see what we get. Okay, so nothing there, but that's okay. We're going to move on now to the main event. I don't think I have any other banners that I can summon on currently. I think that's everything. Okay. So my plan is I'm going to be summoning on both blue and green. My main priority is merges for my legendary Ephraim, who I want to get to plus 10 at some point. I think I still need either four or five merges for him, so I'm not expecting to finish him today. I'm only going to go to the spark unless I have a high pity rate. I also would not mind getting a copy of um, Ascended Fjorm, because I don't have her, so getting her would get me a florette, which would be nice to have. And I wouldn't mind getting Hector either, because, you know, he has some nice stuff too. So either one of those I would be happy to get. I wouldn't even mind getting regular Fjorm, because she has some nice stuff now that she's gotten her, uh, her remix. But my top priority is going to be Legendary Ephraim. So we should be able to get at least one copy of him with the spark today. But let's see what happens. Um, I guess if I don't get either blue or green, I'd probably go... I think I'd probably go colorless. Because even though I already have Ascended Fjorm, I could still use Attack Defense Far Trace. And she has really good fodder across the board. So yeah, that's what we'll do if we don't get... Um, blue or green. So let's get started. Okay. Not a terrible circle to start off on. So I'm watching, I'm, I'm playing this and summoning now. This is the uh, morning after. Last night we got the, the trailer for the new Brides banner, the FE6 Brides banner. I have to say, I'm a little disappointed just because we got FE6 Brides last year and I've been waiting so long for FE7 to get a little bit more seasonal love. So, I was kind of, when I saw the silhouettes and I figured it was Lorem and Sophia, I was kind of hoping it'd be more of a mixed banner and like, obviously, Elliewood is the secondary unit on the harmonic, but... I don't usually count the secondary character as much. And it would still only be one character regardless. Now I think we'll probably be getting an FE7 New Heroes banner somewhat soon. It's a little hard to say right now because at the moment uh, we're so close to when Three Hopes comes out. So I think there's a really good chance that we'll end up... I think there's a pretty good chance that we'll have a Three Hopes New Heroes banner in June, since it's 
it's a little bit early compared to when the game is coming out. It doesn't come out until end of June. But I could still see it happening. But we'll see. Maybe they'll, they might actually end up waiting before they release Three Hopes. I don't want to make any presumptions and just assume that they're definitely going to come out with that in June. So if it's not Three Hopes, then my guess is would be that the, the New Heroes banner in June is probably going to be either just a regular Three Houses banner. It's been a little bit since we got one of those, and they do tend to get them more often because the game is so popular and new. Or it could be Blazing Blade. Or it could be Radiant Dawn. I just, I can't figure out what's going on with them with Radiant Dawn because it has been over three years since Radiant Dawn's gotten a new Heroes banner. And they've done Path of Radiance ones, and they've done Radiant Dawn characters um, on seasonal banners, but they just, they don't seem to want to do Radiant Dawn new hero banners anymore. It just seems kind of odd. So I, I, I always kind of think it could happen soon. You know, this next banner we get could get, could be a Radiant Dawn new heroes banner, but then it just, it never is. Kind of like how I've been waiting all this time for FE7 to get a little bit more, uh, seasonal love. But, you know, hopefully, hopefully FE7 gets some, some nice stuff too. The more I've been thinking about it, the more I've been thinking we could end up getting Ascended Jafar. He wasn't on my, uh, on my list. I don't think he was. Maybe he was? I don't think he was, though. When I was guessing which characters might get Ascended Alts, I could see it being him, because it really seems like they're going for kind of a, uh, how to put this, like, characters who could have gone a different route or ended up in a better place, almost kind of the opposite of the Fallen Heroes in a way. And I think that kind of fits with, with Jafar better than it fits with some other characters. But I still, that won't stop me from hoping for, ooh, yeah, come on, Legendary Ephraim. That won't stop me from hoping for uh, Ascended Matthew, because that's ultimately what I want, and that's what all these orbs are for, is for a Matthew alt, so, you know, I'll just keep waiting. Yeah, Legendary Ephraim is just kind of an ongoing merge project for me until I get him to plus 10. And it's nice with him being in the remix because now I can I can guarantee getting a copy of him every time. <clears throat> every time he comes out. I don't think I've... This might be the first Muriel I've summoned other than the free ones we've gotten, which is great because she actually has fantastic fodder, so that's nice. We'll save the bottom left one for last. So I know it's not efficient to to snipe on banners like this, but I'm not really someone who's known for making wise decisions <laughs> in this game. Plus, I have orbs to spare, so it's it's okay. I just try to stay above 3,000 so that I have my Matthew alt orbs. Okay. Okay. <sighs> it always seems like nothing ever comes of these, like, perfect circles that have only things you want. <laughs> but that's okay. Our rate is increasing. Oh, just for a second I thought that was either a, a Fjorm or a Hector just because the, the silhouette's so big. How many people have been tripped up so many times by Sheena <laughs> and her large silhouette? May is one of those other characters who I just can't believe hasn't gotten anything yet, either a resplendent or an alt. I'm sure it's it must be coming, but it just seems strange to me. That's awesome! Yes, we got him! We got him! Yay! Okay. Actually, I want to check and see what my, um, I'm not sure how many merges 
my legendary from is at. I think he's at plus five, maybe plus six. So I want to really quick check my barracks and just see what he's at before we keep summoning. And just, I guess, to save a couple orbs, we'll we'll pull here. Okay, well. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. Okay, let's see. Do my teams. Generia from... Yeah, he's plus five, so... Okay, so now with the one that I just got, I need four more copies of him. Okay. That's manageable. So let's keep going. All right, we're getting a lot of blues, which is awesome. I look forward to when I'm finished with uh, with this merge project. I have a number of merge projects that are like semi close to being finished, but I'm so conservative with my orb spending that I very rarely finish plus 10 projects. The only plus 10 5 star exclusive heroes I have are actually um, Layla and Brave Ephraim. So I'm only one away from Duo Ephraim with Leon. Okay, a couple Mordecai's. So I'm home summoning right now. It's actually, it's, it's in the morning right now. Normally I would be at work, but I am home right now because we're actually having a little bit of a, a COVID situation at work at the moment. So they actually had us just stay home today and none of us have any, uh, none of us have anything we have to do today, but then we're going to be virtual tomorrow and Friday. So they basically just gave us the day off. And then we'll be working from home the next two days. Okay, alright, that's fine. I'm totally okay with getting a fjorm. I think she has she has a uh, attack res unity, right? Oh no, it's mirror stance. Oh, and also attack defense unity. Okay, that's great though. I didn't realize she had. Wait, she has two tier four A skills. That seems really odd. I guess it gives you some variety with how you want to use her. That's really strange, though. But okay, that's fine. I'm happy to have another copy of her. That time I didn't think she was someone else. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Alright. Okay, I might pull this last color list too, just because... Oh! Oh wow, what a great circle! Nice! Hello Hector. I do already have Legendary Hector, but I'm perfectly happy to get another one. Nice! That's awesome! Might as well pull this last one, since this is a fairly lucky circle, but that's... <laughs> okay. All luck has to end at some point. <laughs> okay, moving on. Just a few more circles left, I imagine, and then we'll be sparking, and then we'll probably be done, because I doubt I'll have a very high pity rate, since 
I have gotten a few five stars along the way. Hmm. Yeah, as of right now, um, I don't really have any symptoms. And I took a, a test last night, and it came back negative. So I'm hoping that means that I've dodged our uh, situation. But we'll see. We'll see. Another Cecilia, who is getting her second alts. Okay, so we'll do this circle, and then we'll do, I guess, one more, and then we'll spark, and then we'll be done. It'd be awesome to get another clutch five star though. That would be so great. Speaking of characters, I really can't believe don't have alts or anything yet. Okay, here we go. last two and then we will we will spark and then we will be done okay it'd be really great if we could get another legendary from right here that would be awesome but we'll see what happens okay not today And there he is. <laughs> now I only need three more copies. So I could even potentially finish him off on the last, on the next, uh, on the next remix he's on. If I get just a little bit lucky and manage to pull two copies and then spark, that could be it. That would be really exciting. Cause that would be my, my second plus 10 Ephraim. Awesome. Yay. Okay, great. Well, that was fun. But that's going to be it for my summoning for today. As always, thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be Gemini out. Stay safe, everyone.